Hey there guys, welcome back to the Myth Monstrology playthrough. I'm your host, Godly Seafood, and today we're going to be starting on, uh, what is it? Episode 20 for Dragon Spire. And so, let's go ahead and get on into it. Uh, this is going to be, yeah, episode 20. Let me go check my, uh, my garden real quick. As we get started, we'll, I would just like to point out that uh, King's Isle obviously came out with the pack, you know, the Cerberus Master Pack uh, premiered at the beginning of the month for member benefits and or members and whatnot at the uh, the Genie, who for some reason, even though I bought a $70, you know, $64 year month uh, membership, I, I guess it doesn't count at the first month. We'll see if it's the second month and then I'll message King's Isle later. Uh, so, yeah. I don't know if I want to open this now or if I want to wait. Uh, I'll probably probably end up waiting till at least level 50, see what I can get out of there. Uh, but yeah, so for anybody who's wondering, it's just the Cerberus Master Pack. You can actually go on the Wizard 101 uh, website and type in code, uh, or all caps, Cerberus uh, Tamer. Yeah. Cerberus Tamer. And you can get yourself that, this pack for however long it lasts. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. I know last time we left off, uh, we were going to be doing starting Dragon Spire, which luckily I managed to get some my gold up. I think I had thirty thousand by the end of the last night, and just farm for a bit more. Uh, wanted to do some stuff. Other things that we ended up getting were the complete set of the uh, what is it, the Royal Charisma gear. Charisma is for myth, but the Barkingham Palace gear, rooftops gear, whatever you want to call it. We got the hat, robe, boots. I do have the wand. However, the wand is not as useful. It's really just a wall decoration at best. Uh, looks pretty cool. It's like a little scepter, which really weird because this one is also a scepter. So, yeah. So let's talk to Ambrose, see what he thinks about the end of Mushu. Headmaster Ambrose shakes his head sadly as you relate what has happened on Mushu. Emperor Yoshihito did what he could. It's too bad he couldn't stop Malastair, but at least we have the spiral key now. Yeah, doesn't really make a whole lot of sense that in the dialogue from uh, Emperor Yoshihito, Malastair had to drop the spiral key to Dragonspire in Mushu. Like, that's specifically stated. I don't know why Malastair is special about that one. We can access any spiral door with all the spiral keys that we always have. And it's very much implied that we always have them on us. Mandrake root? <laughs> Wizard City ran out of it years ago. I think the gobblers gobbled up as much as they could find. Oh, yeah. So this is uh, another quest that I uh, got from Cyrus Drake. Spell school quest. I was hoping to uh, it would go into the next dialogue. But anyway, uh, we're going to be doing a card quest at the beginning as well. But I know it can still be found on Mushu, though I'm not sure where. You may check with the sh Go Seek Professor mm. Drake at the Myth School. Of course, King's Island, they're bad, poorly timed dialogue. He had an uh, odd relationship with Malastair. He may be willing to part with some advice on how to stop him. Perfect. All right, so let's go talk to Cyrus Drake. We've also got to ask somebody in Mushu about that quest or that spell. However, I think we'll do the, uh, actually, we shall do the Mandrake Root quest. So, we have to talk to somebody in the Jade Palace. What's her name? She's in one of the little side shops that nobody ever goes to and looks at anymore. Because everything you guys sell is irrelevant. All right, lady, I'm looking for red mandrake root. Where can I find that? So, Professor Ambrose sent you? What? I am honored he is a man of great wisdom. You are on a quest for mandrake root. I'm more concerned about your voice. That's a dude's voice and a woman's body. Like, this is not a very progressive video game, so that's probably a mix-up. I can help with that. Seek out Angoro at his tower in Kishibi village. He knows where it grows wild. All right. Um. Thanks, Mrs. Mister. Very odd. 
All right, Angoro. I'm here for Red Mandrake Root. I was told that you know where to find them growing in the wild. I am honored to have a visitor from Wizard City. I would gladly invite you for tea in my tower, but I cannot. Let me guess. It's been overrun by bandits. I have been driven out of my tower by Kuragaso, a bandit who aims to control this region. If you defeat him, you can help yourself to the Mandrake. Sure, all right. Oh, it's just this one right here. Mandrake roots. You came here for that. I am trying to wage war and create chaos. And you want roots? I'll teach you a lesson. Oh, nice. Yeah, there's a... Uh, what is it? In the next month here, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a... Uh, what is it? A new world coming out on Wiz. I'm not sure if you saw. Let me type it in here. But, King's Out released a new pack, uh, the Cerberus pack, and they're actually giving one, uh, giving away one for free to each account. I'll go ahead and put that in the, the chat there so you can get that. You just uh, copy-paste Cerberus Tamer, uh, redeem the code, and you can get a free pack. That's what I got here, and I'm waiting to, um, waiting to use it until I'm a little bit higher level. Okay, that's that's actually very odd. We go and help this guy get his tower back, and then nothing. We just go back to Cyrus Drake. There's no quest dialogue that says you go over here and pick up the Mandrake route. Very odd. So, going along with this scuffed little run, I think I'll go talk to Cyrus. see here wizard city yeah hopefully you get the the new cerberus mount which is pretty cool or any of the gear hopefully uh it's something of value and not a trash pack which i mean i've been seeing a lot of people get a ton of gear from it just not mounts all right cyrus um which dialogue are you going to start first the dragon spire quest line dialogue or the spell quest line. So, you found some mandrake. I trust it wasn't too hard to come by. Yep. It, uh, it was actually fairly easy. One boss fight. Oh, you really think you can outwit Malister? Yes, yes I do. He's uh, not a very intelligent guy. Professor Drake peers down at you, then seems to make a decision. Well then. Meet me in my tower, and we'll discuss strategy. Oh, I'm not going to be able to finish this spell. Oh, man. All right, well, we're going up against Cyrus. And what better time to use all of this gear that I finally finished farming for than right now? It'll give me about 56 myth resist, decent stats. I lose, like, two accuracy, but that's fine. And let's see. I want to do something special for Cyrus boy over here. I think we'll have a mob from each world so far. I need to find L Lord Master so I can get Headless. Oh yeah, Headless is uh, definitely a good good spell for death, especially in high levels. Some dude was hitting like 5k with uh, you know max gear, or Darkmoor gear, not even max gear, and a uh, uh, like one blade. It was crazy. Field guard. Yeah, I'll do a field guard. What else do I have? Yeah, we'll do this guy. And... Lockwork Warrior. I don't know if I want to use him. So I'll do a Shield Skeleton, alright. And I won't do any fighting, just to make things more difficult. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Um, Do all of that. Just ton of shields, ton of blades. <laughs> this is going to be great. Um, let's see, going to get rid of all of my hits and my minions can do the work while I survive. Heals, that's fine. 
And then this. I'm not going to use this guy. Maybe. All right, let's go. I need to know if you've any hope of surviving against my brother Malister. The only way I can be sure is to challenge you myself. Stand your ground. Well, I mean, considering the fact that I've managed to survive him once, I don't think the second time is going to be too difficult. Let's do this. I think he uses a combination of myth and storm spells, which is fine. Um, in that case, I'm going to get rid of this and summon a field guard. Kind of glad I didn't shield. That would have been wasted. Oh, well, he goes first, so never mind. <clears throat> Get rid of that. Oh, thank you, minion. That is exactly what I was hoping for. Wizard City. Uh, I think this one's Marleybone. Probably should have tried to do them in order, but that's fine. Yeah, just um, a master conjurer in action. Uh, I'm going to get rid of you and summon you. Hmm, let's see, let's see. What do you got going on? Uh, He fizzled, so that's alright. I'm going to shield you, because you're probably going to get die first. Oh no. He's he's not using myth spells. That's not good. Um, I might be okay for a little while until he starts aggroing the minions. How much health does he have? Does he still have 4k? I, I wasn't looking. I haven't paid attention, like, at all. Yeah, 75 damage. Thank you, uh, Scarecrow or Death Knight-looking guy. Skeleton. 85. Yeah, that's... That's great. Um, yeah, he so he does have 4k health still. I'm going to put Miss Shields on these guys. What is it? If you're, if you happen to get lucky with um, uh, what is it called? Uh, if you happen to get lucky farming, or master, you might end up getting enough spellments for Deer Knight or Lord of Night or whatever other death spells there are. Well, it's probably better to try and craft those nowadays or go for the key bosses. Oh, no. Ooh, that was a good hit. It's like half of a quarter of his health right there. So would that be one eighth? I don't know how to do math. Yeah, they're doing all right for the moment. Probably just going to be a bunch of lame rounds just going into it, trying to build up. Well, I, I don't even have anything to use my pips on. Oh, you fizzled. Yeah, they're just throwing out weak little spells. It's kind of annoying. This is why Monstrology is not particularly good at later levels, but that's all right.
Let's see, I think I'm going to heal you just in case. Oh, nice. It would be better if I had uh, gotten faint before maybe life shields or stuff like that. Then maybe I could be dealing out a little bit more damage, but it's fine. Let's see, what do they got going on? Um, I don't really have the ability to shield or uh, to blade anyone, so... Now get rid of that. Get rid of that. And I'll shield this guy. Make sure these guys are stacked up and then just constantly heal the uh, Scarecrow. I don't think... Actually. Let me check. Wizard 101 Cyrus Drake. Oh, I spelled that incorrectly. I'll go ahead and put this up on screen. Uh, let's see here. I'll let the round finish and then I'll pull this up. We can see what all Cyrus Drake ends up using. Well, they got him down to about half, so this is this is working out pretty well. So, before we get into the round... This is what he uses. He has the potential for frog, so I gotta watch out for that. Accuracy and damage debuffs. Earthquake. Didn't know he still, he had that. All right, let's see. I think I'm going to shield up this guy. Whoa. Oh, wow, he did not resist a whole lot of that. Not good. Twenty eight hundred. Um, you know, it's probably uh, the gear. What kind of gear are you wearing? I know some people wear crowns gear at level fifty. I think it's kind of a waste until you're like level eighty to one hundred to really start getting into crowns gear. Uh, but it also might be just different types of stuff. Like health is not the most valuable asset uh, compared to stuff like resist. Like if you had 50% resist and 2,800 or like 2,000 health, you would have the same survivability as somebody with 4,000 health and zero resist. Because you'd be taking half to- Oh no! What just happened? How did he die? Did what? Did I kill him? Oh my god, I think I accidentally killed my minion. <laughs> I thought that was a healing spell. Whoops. I was never here. Nobody, nobody saw anything. Nobody... Nobody rat me out to the cops. Um, well... Uh, it was a sacrifice. Oops. But yeah, uh, getting back to our conversation. Uh, yeah, it really just depends on what gear you're wearing. I know there's a lot of gear that will have, like, a, a fair amount of health and then some damage, but will have no universal resist or no power pip and stuff like that. And gear like that is pretty much worthless, in my opinion, because you don't really gain anything. You know, you, you gain a little bit of damage and health, but you're going to be dying super quick. Uh, I actually used to have a level 72 storm on, like, my first account, and I could never figure out why I was dying so much. I had some of the Zafaria gear, and I had a whole bunch of damage, and I was just dying left and right. And then a couple years later, I find out, oh, I had, you know, a decent amount of health, a decent amount of damage, but no resist. So, honestly, I wouldn't be too upset with... People having 4k health at level 50. They probably don't have decent stats all around, uh, if I had to guess. Uh, well, shoot. Killing that minion really, really kind of messed me up right there. <laughs> Whoops. Because now I have to rely on these guys. But they took out a, a fair amount of his health. What? Uh, I want to say... Even at level 53, you're probably going to be relegated to using uh, Zeus gear from Mount Olympus as your best bet. Uh, you might have Barkingham Palace gear if you really went and farmed for that. I only did it because I like farming, uh, but most people are going to skip that up. 
I think nowadays they recently uh, added world packs, which give you new gear. So you can actually go back and fight Malastare, uh, Malastare for some boots uh, that he ha he had, or some robes, hats, and boots that he now has that give better health. Some of them give resist. Some of them have crit. And then there are, you know, obviously crown packs. Uh, if you were to go into having any sort of crown packs, I'd say Professor's Horde, first of all, just because it gives really great stuff. But uh, at, at the end of the day, I, I wouldn't be too upset if you're, unless you have low health and then you're having a hard time surviving fights as well. But even then, you're a death wizard, so you can... Uh, if you play your cards properly, you can do damage and heal yourself back. So, hopefully, you're not going to be dying too, too much. What are they doing? They're not doing anything. We're going to go with double universal shields uh, Universal shields on that guy. But yeah, uh, whenever you get out of the battle, let me know what gear you have. I want to say, at level 60, um, would be really your, your next best chance to get a, a gear upgrade. Dang it, Cyrus, stop attacking my minions. Man, that really sucks I killed that field guard. I can't believe I did that. I thought it was a healing spell. Imagine telling that to the cops. I'm sorry, officer. I thought this gun was a med pack. I didn't know it would kill him. Let's see. Um, I'll give it to this guy. He is Cyclops. No, it's a troll. Honestly, I could have been done with this, like, in the first five minutes, These, but doing this monstrology stuff does take a little bit of a while. Also, see here. Oh, I was supposed to close out of YouTube. Whoops. My channel... Oh, wow, that blade was a good call. Cyrus is dead. And victory heal for me. What is it? If you want, you don't have to, but if you want to see any of my other content, go check me out on YouTube. There's a link for that if you want. Uh, so far, all I have are basically episodes leading up to this one. And then I do try and stream Monday through Friday, 7.30 p.m. to about 10 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And then I'm always open to having farming runs with other people. So whenever I get to stuff like Waterworks, the end of Dragon Spire, stuff like that, I'm totally open to doing so long as I at least attempted to solo it. Or if I know it's going to be impossible to solo with Monstrology, I'm not going to try it. Uh, so let's see. All right, Professor Drake, I beat you fair and square. Give me my stuff. Hmm, you're better than I thought. Maybe you have a fighting chance. Do not get overconfident, though. Uh, what are you talking about? I'm the main character. I'm overflowing with confidence and arrogance. Malastare is extremely dangerous, far more than I was. Really? You need my help to defeat him. Meet me in Dragonspire. He's got double the health you have. Uh, like rank seven spells and then like three henchmen he's not going to be that big of a deal but we're not supposed to know that yet all right so cyrus just yeeted himself out of existence so i'm just going to log back in and get that spell qu quest as well <laughs> all right cyrus i'm here for that spell quest now the mandrake must be prepared for use in the spell so that it will render up its magic what is needed is some living energy, which, from my understanding, is to be found on the world of Crocotopia. I gotcha. Yes, I know. It is hot and almost inhospitable. But you'll need to go there to speak with a living tree named Nile. 
Gotcha, thank you. Also, what do you mean almost inhospitable? It's a divine intervention miracle that the Crocs and the Manders were able to survive out there. And they've got like one puddle of water, and that's about it. It's amazing they have the, the well and the well of spirits, or any of the ice in um, the Emperor's Retreat, or under the Sphinx, whatever it's called. Come on, hurry up. No, that's Mushu. Crocotopia, there it is. And if I'm not mistaken, this is for a Cyclops minion that should be like three to six pips if I'm if I'm remembering right. Niles, how's it going? I need you to tell me how to infuse living energy into this red mandrake. Cyrus sent you here? I hear he is a knowledgeable professor, though some other people complain about him rather loudly. Yeah, I can understand that. You need living energy to bring your mandrake around? Seek it at the Well of Spirits. Be sure to watch out for the mandrake afterwards. Do I have to? I'm not ready to become a father quite yet. So anyway, I can put the mandrake up for adoption, or you know, just kind of, kind of, not let it exist anymore. Can I just throw it into the well of spirits after I get what I need? That should kill it, right? I actually don't know. Never really stated what the uh, Well of Spirits is. And gear change. Because I have them bound to equipment sets. Alright, here is this. Root lets out an eardrum shattering yell. Oh boy. Oh, why have you awakened me? I was in such a restful slumber in the ground. Why do people keep digging us up? Uh, give me my spell, nerd. Oh, I gotta go back to Cyrus. Okay. Let's see here. Wizard City. All right, Cyrus, meet my son. He's uh, in a, uh, he is an annoying mandrake root. Those roots are a bit on the annoying side. No one really minded when they disappeared from Wizard City. Gotcha. You know, it wasn't just some random accident with the gobblers. I'm pretty sure the gobblers were employed to uh, execute Order 66 on them. So what do I need to do with this mandrake root that is... I guess technically lore wise my child. Now, you must gain your identity. You must call an elemental that will give you direction for your next spell. The mandrake will aid you in this feat. Really? I would consult Ivan as his roots are in touch with the elements, giving him the best place for the summons. But he's a spiritual tree, not an elemental tree. This makes no sense. All right, Ivan, meet my child. He's a young mandrake root. He's annoying, and it, nobody's going to be sad if he goes missing. So, you are going to use a mandrake root to help summon a myth minion? Yep. Mm. Let me probe the earth to point you in the right direction. Gotcha. Yes, I can feel it deep within the foundations of the world. To make a summoning, go to Triton Avenue to the bridge that spans the shards of land. There it will be. Why? Why does the myth spell require to be summoned or construed at a storm area? This makes no sense. You feel electricity in the air, 
and the hair on the back of your neck stands up. Exactly. The root lets out an eardrum shattering yell. Oh, minion, show yourself. Come forth and bestow your favor upon this withered. Thank you, son. You've made your father proud. Oh, I can't see that. Uh I've had my eye on you for a while now, young wizard. You have proven well that you are a powerful student. Thank you, minion. I have found favor in you and will aid you in your quest. In the dark times, your power will be needed, as I do not think Cyrus can stand alone. Why are you assuming Cyrus is the main character? The power words that you seek are Yaoyorozu, no, Kami. Go now and bring peace to the land. I'm not gonna lie, I don't even remember what you said, dude. Uh, I, I've already forgotten the words of power you gave me. Also, the last, like, three school quests did not have any reference to words of power. Alright, Cyrus. Uh, I talked to a Minotaur and he gave me some words. Also, I think canonically my Mandrake Root son is now dead. Or not living. I don't really know. So the Mandrake summoned you a Minotaur. That is a good sign indeed. Here, take this spell as it will serve you well in the future. Yeah, that's great. But what about my son? What am I going to tell Child Services when they come looking for my Mandrake Root son? All right, so this is Dragonspire. Finally, finally getting to the world of Dragonspire. It's a pretty, pretty interesting place. Kind of gloomy, with all of the the dark clouds. Let's see. I've got to find Cyrus. He's over here. And there's a reagent, so I'm just gonna pass him up and grab this real quick. All right, Cyrus. Uh, now that I'm here, what uh, what are we supposed to be doing here? We have a difficult task ahead of us. Yes, we do. There you are, young wizard. When you opened the spiral door to Dragon Spire, I took the opportunity to scry ahead. Gotcha. This is as close as I can come for the time being. Malastare will most certainly sense my presence should I enter Dragon Spire, endangering all we hope to accomplish. All right. And what is it that we're hoping to accomplish, by the way? Most of the gates and portals are blocked or otherwise impassable. You may now access the outer ring. From there, you must open the gate to the next ring. Okay, so we're just opening gates and going up the uh, the the different streets. I got gotcha. you. Library is on the other side of this portal. Go there and discover what answers you can. Gotcha. All right. And if I'm not mistaken, Cyrus Drake and Malastar Drake are originally from uh, Dragonspire, as well as Sylvia Drake, who uh, is no longer canonically alive. But... Alright, Milo's Bookworm, I need a portal stone. Oh, hello there. I don't believe I've seen a living being in quite a long time. Uh, yeah, yeah. So about that portal stone. Ah, so you wish to explore the scenic world of Dragonspire. It's a beautiful place, don't you think? What's that? Oh my, it's in ruins, I forgot. My apologies. I feel as if I just awakened from a long sleep. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine you've been dead for quite some time. Most of the gates into Dragonspire have been shut down by the Dragon Titan's army, but perhaps we can find a way for you to get in. All right, so uh, what would be that way? We have a saying here. When in doubt, turn to the knowledge crystal. The knowledge crystal should have the answers. It's right over there. Use it and come back when you've got your answer. All right, let's go read that. Do I read it? Do I listen to it? How does the knowledge crystal work? So am I supposed to read this, listen to this, or what? The crystal starts to glow. And in tone, ah, I see. The portal gates of Dragonspire. I'm supposed to swirl my staff around and stab the crystal out of its holdings. Aurit Blazeburner created the portal gates to defend Dragonspire from outside enemies. Only a portal stone can open a gate. Oh, that's interesting. All students and faculty of Dragonspire Academy are issued portal stones by the Stone Keeper. That's interesting. So Dragon Spire just has seems to have multiple different layers and rings. And you can 
unlock the different levels as you go up. But you can only access them through portal stones rather than, I don't know, flying a dragon on top of, you know, up to the top of the world like that dragon seemed to have done. I don't really know how that's supposed to work. All right, Milos, I've uh, I've read or listened to the crystal. Oh, yes, I remember now. Auric Blazeburner was quite a powerful enchanter. He made the portal gates and the portal stones to get through them. Gotcha. If you're looking for a portal stone, you might check Holger's old tower. It's fairly close. I haven't been there in years, but there were portal stones piled up all over the place. All right, so now we go to get ourselves a portal stone. I actually clear out my entire deck because I was just doing stuff with Cyrus. You know what, we'll throw out this guy if we have a boss fight. All right, it, what? That didn't make any sense. He said to go to somebody's tower. Was it Holgar? Yeah, Holger's tower. Why is it telling me to go talk to Zarathax? Ooh, I already like what I see. You can see Colossus. Those will be fun to get some minions from. Alright, Zarathax. I'm here on official Wizard City business, I think. Who is it? Show yourself. I'm standing right in front of you. Come closer. Yes. I am but a lowly servant of the great dragon Titan. He is gone from this world. Is he? He seems to be just standing up on the volcano. The Necromaster is not fit to lick the Dragon Titan's claws, but he forces me to work from the top of the main tower. Right. We have something in common. An enemy. You want to get into the tower, and I know how. First, we must activate the crystal atop each tower. That will open the portal to the main tower. Okay. Each tower is locked. So you must retrieve the keys. The first tower key is held by the loathsome creepers nearby. Go. All right. Got some loathsome creepers to take care of, which are undead. This is perfect. And we got little pirates. I'm not going to monstrology them. They look just like the, the ones from Wizard City. It's not worth it. All right, Zarathax. I've gotten your key or whatever. But there is more sad to say. Are you sad to say that? This tower key only opens the door to the first tower. You must activate the crystal at the top to open the portal to the main tower. Gotcha. Go, activate the crystal inside the tower. Then, I will tell you how to reach the main tower. Alrighty. Oh, a message from Cyrus. Probably for a spell. Hmm. You might actually be a good wizard, seeing as you've made it this far. Come see me for a new spell. Right. I think I'll go get this tower key, uh, crystal thing. Go talk to Cyrus. And then port back. Mm, excuse me. Oh, uh, it's not this one. Whoops. That tower shouldn't be staying staying up like that. Look at that. That is just cut completely off. Which is... Oh, man, I'm going up on that tower, too. Huh. What about these ones? Most of them are stuck in the ground. That one's floating as well. Physics is weird, dude. 
those better be being holed up by magic. Ooh, undead, but right now I don't have to fight them, so we're gonna have to take a rain check on that. Thank you, random dialogue, for interrupting me. Like I was saying, I'm gonna I don't need to fight these guys, so I'm just gonna grab that spell and be on my way. I think I should be getting Earthquake, shouldn't I? Or is there a spell before that? I don't actually know. Cyrus, what do you got for me? Uh, we got this little guy. Kind of worthless if you're not doing PvP. But, I mean, it is also a bubble change. And then we get Earthquake. This will be fun. I actually can use this for one of the upcoming bosses. I might actually be able to get to them in this one. I don't actually know. Uh, 370 versus... Hmm. It's actually guaranteed damage, so... Maybe. I remember Earthquake being worse than Frog damage-wise, but... Who knows? Maybe they updated it. Alright, Xerathax, I've... Climbed the tower and Rapunzel was not there, but I got the crystal. You have done well, wizard. Yes. But not finished. There is more still. Yes, I has done well. We has begun and are on the way to freedom. Yes. The first of four towers is completed. I did not tell you it was so many because I feared you would leave me enslaved. Right. Well, that's a fair thing to do, I guess. A former <laughs> inhabitant of Dragon Spire occupies the next tower. She fears me, but would welcome you. Oh, right. Speak to the wizard therein and get the tower key. Dude, you bet. Um, I'm gonna take a teleporter because I'm lazy and don't want to walk there. This isn't a boss fight, so it's not gonna be that big of a di big of a deal. Uh, actually, it might be better to keep those. All right, uh, Lydia Bright Moon. I'm here for the tower key. How did you get here? You're no member of the Dragon Titan's army, are you? You must have come for the tower key, right? Why so many questions? I don't have it on me, but I know where it is. Unfortunately, the way there is too dangerous for me to show you. Is it? I haven't been able to go anywhere because of the monsters. They really don't seem like monsters. They're just undead. Do me a favor, and I'll help you out. Please go and defeat the monsters, then return here. Then I'll tell you where the tower key might be. Right. Also, I feel like they could have gone with the whole, oh, the previous inhabitants of Dragon Spire are revived and are under, uh, you know, a necromancer's influence and are wrecking havoc. Go defeat them. Not go defeat some monsters, but soon find, yep, defeat sol restless soldiers or whatever they're called. Got to defeat four of them, so that's going to be a new minion. Uh, I'm not defeating the Wandering Wizards. Not yet, anyway. Alright, I have dealt with the monsters. What next? Thank you for your help. You've made this area a safer place. Have I? The tower key is in my desk drawer over there. Be careful out there. I feel like find the tower key in the desk drawer. I feel like I could have just taken this and not made the street a safer place. This whole world is just full of undead mo undead and monsters and nobody's living here. There's no reason for it to be safer. Also All right, Zerathax, I've got the second tower key. The tower key. Yes. The draconian reaches for it, but you keep it from him. Why do I keep it from him? What did the nasty wizard say about me? Nothing. Do not believe her. She actually didn't say anything. She just said, you know, go make the street a safer place. You are the mighty wizard. 
Without the Dragon Titan, I am a lowly servant of the Necromaster. I want to be free. Oh, yeah, sure. That's what they all say. The key is in your hands. Go. Activate the crystal on top of the second tower. Wait, if I was going to go unlock the crystal on the second tower anyway, why would I be trying to give you the key and then keep it away from you? That doesn't make any sense. Like, you could have just said that... He, you could have just given, a, given that Draconian himself a very sketchy dialogue rather than what you, what you guys made us the dialogue there. All right, so this one. You activate the crystal, and it shimmers to life. Yeah, yeah, I bet. Alright, the second tower is done. See? You have all the power. Do I? I do not lie. I helps you do good. Do you? The Necromaster commands one of the wizards of this world. He has the third key. Uh-huh. He is not so pleasant to deal with. You need to defeat him to steal the key. I thought you said you were trying to help me do good. Now you're having me steal stuff? Boy, if, if this wasn't the only way to progress the quest, I'd be questioning your motives. Alright, so we're going to go defeat Petrov Gloomstrider. He is actually an undead uh, train conductor looking dude. So this will be fun. Ooh, I'm going to need this. Oh yeah, that's right. I completely, completely forgot. Um, I can craft my second gear vault, so I'll probably do that a little bit later. I uh, finally ended up getting all the sandstone that I needed. Just sniped like 18, 17 from the bazaar and then bought the other two or so. You're the sneaky one to have gotten this far. Now you'll wish you'd snuck away while you had the chance. Yeah, shut up. You're dead and I'm not, and part of your soul is about to become fodder for my minions. Uh, we'll do all of that. See, oh, he's ice. I think I'll try and summon one of these Minotaur minions. Three pips. Oh, yeah, that's right. One, two. Throw out a third one of these. And a Colossus Animus. Three. Yeah, that should do good. Please go first. You suck. Um, so we got Undead. We're gonna get rid of that one. And... Yeah, I think I'll Blade up. Probably a debuff. Yep. I should have put Wand Hits in. Hopefully, I can keep blading up, and everything will go the way that I want it to, and it'll be great forever and ever and ever. So keep those. Use that one. So this is the Colossus one. I'll keep it on the opposite side of the shield, just so that I do not forget. Actually, it'll stay in order either way, so it's there's no real reason to keep the shield if I need it. Ooh. Pat coming to the rescue. I just do that every single time I get hit by an enemy, and I'll never die, except for bosses who cheat with uh, heals. Ooh, that's a tough call. I think I'm going to go for a min just a regular Minotaur on this guy. I don't have anything to get rid of that uh, um that debuff. But 
I might be able to pull a frog and a Colossus Animus to finish him off. Or that. That's a possibility as well. Let's see what this does. And I'll move forward accordingly. Oh, nice. That frees up my hand quite a bit. So, get rid of that, get rid of that. On to killing the boss. I'm actually really glad he died in one hit. That would have sucked if I had had to pull for a second one. Although, I did technically have everything I needed, so... It would not have been as bad as some of my other runs. Where I'm constantly having to dig for stuff. Oh, oh, I thought that was another heal. He's doing that. Ooh, that's perfect. I think I'm just going to go triple blade into a Minotaur and see what that does. It might kill him. If not, I can always save up for another Minotaur. Do this. I'm not worried about uh, shielding. I don't need to tank damage. He is either going to hit me with the rank 3, uh, well, he's either going to hit me with a damage spell or shield. So, eat my Minotaur, nerd. Ah, uh, he's shielded. But wait, Minotaur does two hits. It's a shield breaker. Yeah, suck it, you loser. Part of your... Undead soul is mine. I had to think about that for the minute. Yeah, I had to think about that for a minute. To make sure the the words worked on that one. And I got next to nothing. Uh, Let me check my jewels real quick. It's been a while since I looked at what I had. Got a Deer Knight one, some Accuracy ones that aren't good. I don't have any Myth Accuracy ones, but that's fine. What about pet jewels? Big energy. Do I have any myth? I do not. I could do that, but then I'd be missing the 20 pet energy. And this is my only pet, so... For the moment, it's gonna have to do. All right, Xerathax, I've gotten your key, or my key. See, I told you that I was your friend. That wizard, he was crazy. Was he? You has done good taking the third key. I mean, I don't know if he was, it, you can classify that as crazy. He was just kind of upset to see me and looking to kill me. If he had a job to do for Malastare, that's understandable. Now we can be friends. No. You has nothing to fear from me. Yes, I do. No enemy can enter the city from outside, and the enemies here are trapped. Uh huh. Enter the tower and activate the crystal. Soon you shall reach the main tower and defeat the Necromaster. Right. Using that whole carrot on the stick thing, telling me what I want to hear. I'm wise to your kind. Like, very rarely are the NPCs giving that give you quests actually want to help you. Oh, it was right there. Or was it? It was. I, was, I guess I just don't know how to use a door. So we'll do the third key. The or tower. To life. So we just have one more. I'm going to leave that mark at him and just try and run back. Try not to get pulled. I don't know why they put enemies up here. They put enemies up here just to mess with people.
All right, Zerathax. That is crystal number three. Where is the last key? Yes, I knew you would prove useful to defeat the Necromaster, of course. Ah, uh, uh, you're slipping up, my guy. Yeah, to defeat the Necromaster, of course. Of course. The last key fell from the sky, somewhere in the street, clutched by a drake. I could not look for it out of fear of the Necromaster. Yeah, you couldn't take a leisurely stroll on your work break hour. Shut up, nerd. Search the streets by the broken tower until you find the key. We are so close. Is it really we? It feels more like just me. And as soon as I get this quest line done, it's de most definitely just going to be me. Alright, so Dragon Claw. Wow, oh, that was easy. Oof. See, this would have been great to come across when I was doing that quest. Alright, nerd, I got the key. What next? You have found the last key soon. Sure. Yes. You does a great deed, mighty wizard. Is it great? Activate the crystal on top of the fourth tower. The great portal on the center platform opens to the main tower. Fight your way to the main office. You will get what you worked for. Uh, sure. But I mean, realistically, is it a great thing? I mean, I'm just gaining access to a tower. That's not really great. It's mediocre at best. Slightly difficult, maybe? I don't know. the crystal and it shimmers to life why does the the tower key or why does the tower crystal shimmer to life who hurt you tower crystal i keep wanting to call it a tower key i'm messing up my skits my skits oh got stuck uh is it down it is down All right, and through the big main doors. Ooh, what's this person? House of Scales champion. What are you doing here if you've beaten the House of Scales, dude? Oh, he might be, um... Oh, that was cool. I completely missed that. Uh, he might be farming for spellaments. Should have listened to your best judgment after all. Rude. I'll remember you when I sit on the throne of Dragon Spire. Yeah, yeah, like you're gonna make it to the throne of Dragon Spire. Shut up, you loser. Uh, before we start this fight, I'm gonna go ahead and look at this guy because I want to make sure that it is undead. Yes, he can't. Uh, giant undead and cycle. This is not a giant, dude. Shut up. Um. He classifies as as an undead cyclops. Uh, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Do three, and then three. Um, I think I'll do this, and I'll definitely summon a minion to aid with that. Oh, that's pretty cool music playing in the background. Too bad I didn't get to hear any of it. Uh, yeah. So, Fallen Merc. Get rid of that. Probably gonna get debuffed, but I'm gonna try and capture him first. I don't think I have heals in. 
I didn't I didn't think about that. Is this accuracy? No, it's a scarab. I'm okay with that. Let's see. Um, I'll get rid of this. I don't need that. Get rid of that. Throw this up there. And probably do a, um, what is it called? A uh, blade. Probably do a blade into a minotaur. And that'll be that. Uh, get rid of you. Because I want to make sure I capture him in one fell swoop. Also, I'll go ahead and pull this up now. Uh, whenever he's done fighting. Uh, let's see. That's that. And before I choose my hand. This. Uh, this is the Minotaur minion I'm going to be summoning after... I, uh, kill the Cyclops minion. He has 700 health, and he has a fair amount of spells, but honestly, he seems to be an option for if you ever need to, like, not hit myth spells. Um, well. Do that, because that was the undead one. So yeah, it, it looks like he used uh, Spirit Armor, Vampire, Banshee, or Ghoul, whichever one that was, and a couple of misspells up till Troll, but not a whole lot. Not as good as the minion we already have for Cyclops minions, rank 4. Nice. I don't have the ability to heal myself except for Seder, so... I'm gonna hope... That. Oh, what's the best play here? Shield into a minion. Because there's a chance he fizzles. Oh, you suck. Come on, pet. Heal me. I know I haven't uh, been playing the most optimal strategy, but... Heal me. <laughs> uh, we'll go into minion. Finally get to see this guy. Oh, nice. He used all of his sandstorms on that. Or two, all of his pips on those sandstorms. Come on, pet. Ah. Fine, be that way. I didn't want to get a heal from you anyway. Although I am super close to dying. Now this guy... Enraged Minotaur. Probably going to try and blade up and hit with the Minotaur, because this guy does have spirit shields. Dude, hit me with like a scarab again or something. Come on. Nope. Not my pet. He's just whittling me down. Come on, man. I want to escape here with that Cyclops in hand. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. If he, like, blaze or something, I might throw out the... the earthquake, but... Come on. Minotaur, please. Oh, thank god. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> That's not my pet healing me. What am I talking about? My pet doesn't heal me when I need it. He heals me when I've taken the first, like, 500 damage and tells me to go away. Um... In that case... Yeah, I mean, I might as well. Dude, did he heal? Did he shield himself? Are you kidding me? Come on, thought heal. Nope. It's probably a waste to summon this minion, if I'm being honest. Not because he didn't shield me, but because he's not going to draw aggro. I literally killed this dude's henchman. He's not going to start attacking my guy.
Oh my god. Oh wait, never mind. Oof. I I thought for a second that I had uh put accidentally put in what are they called? Uh undead animus instead of uh draconian animus. Dude, let's go. All right, it looks like he is going to hit my minion. That's very odd that he would do that. Two, three. This might kill him. Nope. If I get a power pip, he might die. Nope. Honestly, you suck as a minion. Uh, it's probably just bad RNG. I'm going to throw out another... Uh... I was about to say Warhorn. I'm about to throw out another Minotaur just to get this kill real quick. It's like, that one extra Animus is not worth me resetting the fight. You defeated him? Good show there. I'm Auric Blazeburner. I built this place. I was rooting for you. But couldn't do anything to help. Not that you needed any assistance. Ha! I mean, I could have used an extra hand. What a system I designed. With one fatal flaw. It kept enemies out, but for those summoned inside the city. We had all these gates, but were defenseless. Hmm. If you still want a portal stone, the stonekeeper should have one. I've been out of touch for too long. You must ask someone else where to find him. Oh, of course. I would expect nothing less. Uh, so let's see. Wizard 101 Wiki Zareth X. I don't believe... If he doesn't have it, I'm not going to show it. He does not drop any of the new gear, does he? I don't think so. No, just spellaments, I think. Which is fine. Uh, here's, there's a book, but I'm not going to deal with that. All right, Milos Bookworm. I got the portal stone. What next? The stonekeeper? Oh, yes. The keepers not only kept the stones, but the spirits of our greatest allies and even our worst foes. That was stupid of me. Oh, wow. All right, so I met uh, Auric Blazeburner, and he told me to go to the Stonekeeper. The Stonekeeper? Oh yes, the keepers not only kept the stones, but the spirits of our greatest allies and even our worst foes. Bro, I just realized you look like you're ready for Mardi Gras, dude. The Stonekeeper should be in the Plaza of Conquest these days. That's where we stored all the crystals and where we speak to them for guidance. Right. Go there. He'll surely be happy to help you. I bet. The Stonekeeper was in the Plaza of Conquest just as the Titan's army reached the Outer Ring. Whatever has awakened our spirits must have woken him as well. Go speak to Laszlo Starblane in the Plaza of Conquest to find the Portal Stone. Is Laszlo Starblade the Stonekeeper? Hat of No Limits? What? Oh, that's that. Yeah. Out of no limits, it will never help you reach your limits at all. Seven damage and no other stats. That is cell fodder. Oh, uh, no, wrong way. Hello, Laszlo Starblade. I'm here for a portal stone. Want a portal stone. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I am the stonekeeper. 
You know what that means? It no. means I'm responsible for keeping the portal stones out of the hands of our enemies. Well, considering the fact that you're dead, your duty has ended. Uh, so give me a stone. You might have recommendations from all manner of dignitaries, but mere words are not enough to convince me. I'll need more to go on before I give you a portal stone. Can I just talk to your also undead higher up and get you to have to give me one? Or is this going to be a bunch of, like, menial fights to earn your respect? We have a long and distinguished history here in Dragonspire and can't let any riffraff get access to our academy. You must demonstrate your worthiness. Ah, uh, okay. So it's just a bunch of menial quests to earn your trust. Go, speak with Xana Fireflower elsewhere in the Plaza of Conquests. If she gives your recommendation, we'll speak more. Perfect. All right. Um, what is her name? Where is she? Oh, they moved her for some reason. They put her. They put her in front of the hoarder's tower. What? Why? Why are you over here? Stand up straight, soldier. You need a recommendation. I reserve the right to hand that out, soldier, until I see what you're capable of. Now snap to it. Attention. Right. I'd love to have uh, an undead like yourself. That is quite a unique model. I don't think I've ever looked at you. Now listen up and listen well, soldier. I led our forces from my tower, but now foul beasts have overtaken our base. Like the Hoarder? They're led by Sisyphan, as foul and powerful a creature as you've ever faced. Do you hear me? Uh, no, I'm a little bit deaf in this here. I will not rest until the army's threat has passed. It has this and already passed. Now go and secure that perimeter, and you will have your recommendation. I mean, you're dead. This, they're technically no longer a threat to you. Do you understand me, soldier? Uh, sure. Also, I feel like she should have been standing outside uh, Sisyphan's tower if she was going to be doing the whole go get my tower back spiel. Well, that's fine. Sisyphan is not particularly a difficult enemy. I think he has a fire elemental with him, so I'm not going to have to worry about uh, too much with that. I might want to put in some more tower shields. Grab some health. Four. Health is full. Alright. So let's see what we got our hands on. What's this? Did someone order room service? This one looks tasty. Rude. Also, thank you, I think. So, let me pull it up here. Sisyphan, ice boss, you know, has mostly ice. It's, oh man, got frozen Kraken and Icezilla. That could be it. difficult. Uh, Mantle of the Undying, what? I'm not sure if he if he drops any specific boots um, or crowns gear. I, I'll have to look at that. But let me see. Is there anything that I heals? That's right. Just in case. Uh, gonna try and take out the minion first, and then I'll throw in some wand hits just in case I need those. Super easy fight. Super easy fight. Let's see. On the defensive. Um, man. Uh, summoning a minion is questionable. I don't know if it's the right move, but I'm going to go for it. I think this is it. Um. Let's see. 
Oh, nice. He is going to attack that guy. That's that's perfect. In that case, I'll do this and I'll start shielding up. Oh, that's going to be Malastare. I'm looking at the Dragon Spire World Pack right now just to see which items drop where. Talk myths like what? Oh, that's a, a thing. Oh, okay. They drop new stuff. That'll be worth farming. All right. Um, I think I'm just going to throw this out there and go for a Minotaur. Let him kill him. Ringlet. Drops by unknown. Oh, yeah. The wiki hasn't been updated with any of that. It's not just the robes, right? Like, they they should have new stuff, like, everywhere. Hold up. Yeah, because there are boots and everything. Okay, so they're just not on the wiki, it looks like. Um, he's dying, so... Do that. That'll definitely kill if I don't get debuffed. I need to look this up somewhere else, because this just does not give me a... a good idea of what's in that pack. Oh, get out of there. Uh, sorry, bud. Uh, Roblox Gamer friends. I I don't know how to make people mods. Also, I don't know you, so uh, stick around for a little bit more and develop a relationship with me, and perhaps one day. But also, I don't know how to do that, so. Uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and start blading up. The Minotaur might survive for quite some time. No, that's not helpful. I should probably probably be trying to uh, shield myself for the incoming damage, but... Yeah, it is what it is. That I might be able to get a wand hit to deal with that. Um, yeah. Let me do this. Uh, fizzle. Ah, uh, well, okay, that's fine. I'll have to find it somewhere else. Um, huh, that's odd. I'm not able to find the Dragon Spire World Pack drops for Myth, which is pretty interesting. Let me see if I can find something else. Oh, that's going to do a lot of damage. 337. Crisis subterfuge boots. So does it? Okay, here we go. Here we go. So that's that. I'll keep that there. Items. We'll do that. Uh, I'm not going to use that. I might as well throw this out there. Let the minion get some damage off. Yeah, that boss is, like, coming for me. Uh, amulets. Wands. Hats and robes. So, I already know that Malastare drops the robe. That's not what I'm looking for. I am looking for... Oh, thank you, Minion, for finally doing something useful. About to heal me. I hope you don't fizzle. Highlanders. 
Spider Keeper's story. What? Okay, so that's the hat. The robe, that's the boots. And this is the amulet. Oh, it drops from Cronius. Interesting. Okay. Oh, man. You know what? I might go for this. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. So, let's see. We got the boots, the robe, the hat, the amulet, shadow mark. Who is that? Oh, she's in the, uh, the forum, I guess. Interesting. And, you know what, I'll do the wand as well. Pretty sure it only drops from Malastare, but... Yeah, no, I've definitely gotten that from Malastare on my other characters, alright. So, let's see. He's gonna do a wand attack. I don't have anything valuable in my hand at the moment. However, that wand, that uh, universal attack, or monster attack, whatever you want to call it, is gonna be enough to put him, uh, put the boss into kill range for one minotaur oh man this is like a pvp minion he only shields himself which really sucks like all of that stuff would be way better spent on me and he just doesn't give me stuff he's giving me like one heal i guess i'll let that pass um well no i've got two buffs so this will still definitely Kill. Come on. Come on, come on. Give him the one, two bonk. Perfect. And then the minion heals me for like 80? Or is it 70? I think it's... No, I got incoming, so it might be even 100. 35, never mind. Alright. And so this is what I was looking at earlier. Uh, I wanted to show you guys. This is the new Dragonspire World Pack stuff. Uh, so they're all level 50 updated gear and stuff like that. This is the amulet amulet that I want to get. Uh, let me Where is it at? Here it is So yeah, this is the amulet level 50 it comes from the dragon spire world pack It doesn't say so on the wiki whoever added this didn't put any description uh, But it does seem to drop from Vesta shadow mark. It probably says that but if you look at it, this comes from the uh, uh, forum I don't know how part of a tower that is. We'll get to there eventually. We get the hat, which is dropped by... No one, apparently? Spider Keeper. So this is from y uh, Yiva Spider Keeper, even though it doesn't say the name should be a giveaway. Uh, which, it's got decent decent stats uh, for level 50. Got the Malastare robe, obviously. Drops from Malastare. Uh, and then we got the boots, which drop from Malastare as well, although it has Krasis, Krasis's name, so I wonder if Krasis also drops those. But anyway, let's get back to questing. I want to at least get close to the end of this area before I end the stream. Yeah, it was a fun little fight. Just kind of collect some animus here and there. I wonder what my monstrology level is at. It's at level 13, so I just recently leveled up, it would seem. If not from this fight, from some other one. Oh yeah, she's over here. Alright, Zana Fireflower. I have defeated Krasis. Now, that's fine work, soldier. Here's your recommendation. 
You've earned it. You served your country well. Dismissed. I'm not a native of Dragonspire. Uh, I come from Wizard City. Zana hands you a letter of recommendation. How does a ghost hand me something? The Mushu ghost couldn't hand me anything. You've served your unit well, soldier. Now hustle over to the Stonekeeper and report for duty there. Step lively. Right. I guess there's just something going on with all these uh undead Dragonspire inhabitants. Their minds aren't quite as clear as they need to be. Alright, Laszlo Starblade, I've got one recommendation, but it's probably not going to be good enough for you, so you're going to ask me to get, like, two more. I'm impressed by your resourcefulness. Before too long, I'll be the one saluting you. I feel like that dialogue is better spent later on. The general recommendation is not enough to get you what you're after, not by far. I want to see a second recommendation, and not one you can get with the wave of your wand. Really? Go, speak with Helena Warhawk. She is our historian laureate, the greatest historian of Dragon Spider. You'll find her within the Tower of War. Gotcha. Uh, Warhawk's Tower. Perfect. Uh, I need health before I start this. This is gonna be a bunch of mob fights, if I remember correctly. But we got some cool scarecrows and stuff like that. All right, Helena Warhawk. I need to read a book, I think. I don't think anyone's interrupted my studies in years. So you want to learn about Dragonspire, do you? Uh, I don't want to, but it is mandatory to progress the quest line, so... Knowledge does not come easy, especially in time of war. This is the Tower of War, a place where we store our knowledge of the principles of war to help you in battle. Oh, it really didn't do you guys enough good, did it? Go down the stairs behind me. Read the stories found on the bottom floor. And those should serve as the foundation for all the rest of our knowledge. Should it? Return to me when you have grasped those foundations of our war lore. Gotcha. So I just want to be very clear about this. Every other Dragon Spirian principle around fighting and war and... All of that is going to be based around whatever book I read down here. Just the last room. Alright, so this is the book that says something about the foundations of Dragonspirian warfare. King Manet united Dragonspire by moonlight when Gavarina's flames inspired the most awe. What? Dragonspire's power comes from the fire tree at its center. Thus, the center has the strongest defenses. Okay, this makes some sense, I guess. Lion challenged the council in broad daylight. The greatest treachery occurs when the sun shines. Alright, what? The council of wizards, warriors, and king was first formed under the light of the moon to avoid spying eyes. Mm-hmm. For flames to inspire awe, it is best to attack when this shines. When what shines? Dragon Spire's power and defenses center around this. Around what? Betrayal can happen at any time, even oh. when this shines. When this shines... What is this? Thanks for playing the pronoun game, King's Isle. When you need to avoid spying eyes, try to meet when this shines. When what shines? The best war is won before the first spell is cast. Alright, hold, hold, hold up. Uh... So let's go all the way back. Dragon King Manet united Dragon Spire by moonlight mm -hmm. when Gavarina's flames inspired the most awe. Okay. I guess 
the idea there is that I how do I word this? Gavernea is probably a drake, so he held a speech at night and used his dragon to be sort of a centerpiece for his speech or something, maybe? Dragon Spire's power comes from the fire tree at its center. Thus, the center has the strongest defenses. This one kind of makes just general general sense. All of Dragon Spire's power, the, or most of Dragon Spire's power comes from tree in the middle. Protect the tree. Dragon Spire is defended. You know, defend your strongest points. Uh, or most susceptible points. Very well. Lion challenged the council in broad daylight. The greatest treachery occurs when the sun shines. So, I guess, in with Dragon Spire lore, anything, anytime anybody does something during the daytime, it is considered symbolically evil. Whereas, in the next one you'll hear, uh, anytime somebody does stuff at night, it's considered a more honorable way to approach, you know, scheming and whatnot. The Council of Wizards, Warriors, and King was first formed under the light of the moon to avoid spying eyes. Or, I guess, rather, doing stuff at night, you know, doing stuff out of sight, you know, behind the curtains and stuff like that. It doesn't say whether or not it's considered... Um... Honorable, but, I mean, that is technically the best way to do it. For flames to inspire awe, it is best to attack when this shines. When the nighttime, when the moon shines? I don't know. Dragon Spire's power and defenses center around this. I don't. Defenses. Around the fire tree. Betrayal can happen at any time, even when this shines. Even when the sun shines. When you need to avoid spying eyes, try to meet. When this shines. Moon shines. The best war is war Moonshine. before the first spell is cast. None of this makes any sense. You have to read so far into this, and even then, none of it can be verified. That's just dumb. They had, like, some lore planned out, and they put in some snippets, none of which connected to each other, other than, other than in theme. Alright, I read your dumb book. It sucked. The Art of War by Lao Tzu, or Sun Tzu, or whoever it was, was better. What next? Impressive. You've learned our ways better than any outsider ever has. I can rest easy knowing that our wisdom lives on in you. No, it doesn't. Tell the stonekeeper you have my recommendation. All of your guys' stuff is bass backwards. Helena hands you a letter of recommendation. Yeah, thank you. Finished here. Oh my god. I'm more than satisfied with your efforts. If only my former students had shown such vigor in their studies. Right. Let's get move this along, please. You should return to the stonekeeper. I'm certain he's got more for you. Yeah, that's exactly what I was doing. There's no reason to have two of the same dialogues right there. Just terrible quest design. I'm going to take this because I feel that I'm going to need to be at full health. Um, alright, so Laszlo Starblade. I read a book, I understood very little of it. All of your concepts are weird, and half of them didn't even tell anything specific. Yet again, you win over one of my colleagues. If Dragon Spire Academy had a dozen students like you, this place would not lay in ruins. If you had understandable principles of war, this place wouldn't lay in ruins. These statues represent Dragon Spire's greatest foes. Like a whetstone to a blade, they sharpened the skills of the warriors of Dragonspire. We honored them with combat. See, now that makes some sort of sense. You must first defeat the grand champion of Rydal the Indomitable. He conquered the Duchy of Sebastian and forced the Duke into rebellion. Rydal's champion made it possible. You're no match for him yet, though. You need to learn his way of combat, and for that, you need to go speak to Mavra Flamewing. Sure, alright. Um... 
Yeah, this is probably closer. I think I'll do the rest of this area. Probably let the stream go a little bit longer since I did a bunch of dumb stuff in the beginning. And try and split this one into like three or four, this world into three or four pieces. If I'm not mistaken, she gets bladed a ton, doesn't she? Or no, she gets shielded a ton, I don't remember. Alright, Marva Flamewing, what's good? So, you come to learn the greatest of art, the art of war. My Sun Tzu. You don't look very impressive. But I'm hoping that you've got some hidden reserve of strength. I'm the master of defense here in Dragonspire. I teach the means of protection. Right. A shield is just as much a weapon as the sword. You need to think of defensive magic as another form of attack aimed at your foe's attack. I know what a shield is, lady. You can't rely at all on one kind of defense. A cunning enemy will switch attacks to overcome your protection. You must be quick to change tactics based on what is happening in the battle. Think of it as a game of battle ball. Your shield must always be moving to reflect back the attack. I could spend years teaching you about defense, but time is short. Is it? If you haven't grasped the basics, you're hopeless. Meet me in my tower, and we'll see what you picked up. I mean, you guys aren't really... Stretch for time. Also, this is a good way to say we're not going to continue with this lesson any further. Go fight this boss. Do that. Probably throw in another Minotaur and... Get rid of the frogs. Don't get cocky, young wizard. You've learned the art of the attack. But what happens when you cannot land an attack on your opponent? Defense is the key to survival. Defend yourself. Right. And I think I'll summon a minion as well if I need one. I might not even need one, actually. Wait. This is going to be a super easy fight. Like, yeah, she gets shielded a ton, but she has no health. She used to have like 3,000 health, didn't she? Also, I would love to have these guys as enemies. Just pox enemies that just shield. They do nothing else but shield. I would farm this lady for hours. Um, alright, so that's there. I'm gonna do this and hopefully go for a... an earthquake. Yeah, there's that, but I'm... Ooh, actually... Of course, I don't pull the cards that I need. Or the pips that I need, I mean. Where are my power pips? 50% chance does not mean 0% from the start of the battle until it's about to end. That is not how you do math, King's Isle. 50% is every now and then. You know, every, every pip should be countered with a, a power pip. If you're going by a model of every 100 rounds or so, on average, there will be a 50-50 chance... You've got your math wrong. That's stupid. No battle in this game requires 100 rounds. Nobody would play this game if it required 100 rounds. Therefore, the whole that's I think that's where King's Isle's problem stems from with just terrible math calculations with pips and accuracy. I don't have debuffs, so that's fine. Um... Yeah, I'm going to go for a, uh, an Earthquake just to be safe. See, now that is a bit of an issue. I didn't know that they could use... Uh, what is it? Spirit Armor or Absorb. Yeah, now I get my Power Pip and then a Blade that I need.
So yeah, we'll go hopefully. I have no, don't have any of that. So we'll just keep what we have and go off of what we experience. I'm not going to do hardly any damage to the boss. That's fine. It's mostly the minions that are more important. And of course, I'm doing negative 50% to them because I'm going second in a fight. I'm solo questing and King's Isle doesn't allow solo questers to go first. It's like, get screwed. Let's see, even at half, I still think I boost, so depending on how much health they have, I might kill. No, but that's fine. I've got, I should have another earthquake coming soon. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. 3535. We're going to get rid of that. Keep that. Let's see if I can get rid of this nerd. Oh, it's fine. That's also fine. Getting rid of the ones with the most pips is more valuable. Yeah, even with the shield, it'd be... Like, well, however, many, how, however much damage that was. I think I'll go for another Earthquake and then just focus Minotaur on the boss. Is that tower shield? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, now I get a power pip that I need. Thank you, King's Isle. Would have been great to have all of those blades that I needed, like, before they started double shielding and using spirit armor. Because then I would have been able to do some damage to the boss, but it is what it is. Let's see, we got this. This is fine. I can tank damage. Yeah, I think, like, one or two Minotaurs should finish her off. Maybe not one. Oh, yeah, that's right. Can't pull a power pip to save my life. I've had over seven, eight different white pips, but I can't even get more than three power pips. One of which came from my one at the very beginning of the battle. It's not a 50-50 chance if I don't get what I need. Or what I should be getting. Yeah. Out of the, like, 10 rounds, this is, out of the 10, 15 rounds, this is gone. I've gotten 10 white pips and then two power pips. With an additional third being from my original wand. Uh, no, nah, that should be fine. If anything, I'll have to sit here for another four rounds, get one power pip and four more white pips, because, again, King's Isle does not know how to calculate stuff. The calculation is based on the assumption a battle is going to go a hundred rounds, which is stupid. Just do it one out of ten rounds. why people fail pip so much all right so we got three of her she doesn't come back to say anything which is very odd 
But they didn't want to make two of her, I guess. I'm impressed. You've got an instinct for saving your own hide. That's a good thing. Surviving a battle is the most important part. Yes, obviously. This is probably uh, also a little nod to the vanilla game where if you died uh, before the fight ended you and you did not get healed or revived in any way, you'd lose out on all of your gear. Potential gear or loot. Uh, yeah, I'll use the port. All right, Laszlo Starblade, I beat your test or whatever. The master of defense is a harsh task, master. But if you're here now, it means you learned something. Good. You're not finished yet, though. If, if I'm here, it means that I just won the fight. Even the strongest warrior cannot squeeze blood from a stone, but a student who is wise can get knowledge from a statue. This statue is one of our greatest enemies, Garok Shaleheart. He and his army of Earth Elementals fought our armies to a standstill on the plain of Shattered Shields, and for that we honor him among our own. Right. You must summon and defeat Garok's greatest champion in combat to show that you're capable of upholding the proud military tradition of Dragonspire. Again, I'm not a native of Dragonspire. There is no reason for me to uphold anything. Go to the crystal stand and place this crystal upon it. Concentrate for a moment. The spirit stored within it will then manifest in physical form. Sure, why not? Uh, get rid of all this. Uh, let's see. It is Glossus. As you can see right there, Glossus. Uh, I'm gonna go for some minions. Although, I'm not gonna use the really crappy minion. Like, the rank 3 minion does not help at all. We'll make this one a fun battle, shall we? I need health before I do this, I just realized. Uh, I'll be right back, sir. Please wait a moment. The dude's probably standing out there like, Oh my god, I'm... I've been summoned, and I'm freed. I can leave. And then I come back and kill him. Well, technically a memory of him. Oh. That's odd. They changed the position of the battle circle. He used to stand, like, right here. And I used to, I would... A player would be right here. It's quite odd. And he... Death shields like crazy. But that's alright. I don't know that this guy drops anything decent. Uh let me see. Wizard 101 Wiki Earth Elemental Dragon Spire. Uh you know what? I think. I'll do this instead, and then I'll summon my minion. Yeah, he drops nothing. Uh, I'm not going to pull up his stats. He does drop King Parsley, however... I already have King Parsley, so it's not really that valuable. Ooh, nice. Summon this guy, and we can just start crit damaging him. It'll be great. Yeah, I think he uses Cyclops. He uses this. Uh, he uses... If the page will load, Storm Shark, Fire Elf, Meteor Strike, Heckhound, Locust Swarm, Cyclops, and then he also uses Centaur, Seraphim, Leprechaun, Fairy, Sprite, Spirit Armor, and then, you know, Life Blade, Life Trap. 
all all the stuff you could expect debuffs hit him i want to see this guy crit let's go i'm gonna use this since i can get nothing but white pips i shall use this to get rid of my white pips Crit. Yes! It's possible. Wow. That was bad. That was real bad. Um, oh, wow. Because I don't technically have crit yet, it's not going to show me what I should, uh, what my crit chance is. Get rid of that. Keep the aggro on me while he does his thing. Because I don't want to have to heal him. How much else does he have? 700? Yeah. He does basically the same thing that that, uh, that other guy does. And he's got more offensive spells than defensive. And he blades me as well, so... I guess it's really just kind of a 50-50 chance, but even then, that's really annoying when you summon a minion and he does nothing to help you. Don't need that. Uh, Yeah, I want to go for my other blade. Yeah, good luck getting through 70 resist, and then get, or 70... Percent resist shield and then a uh, 49, 48 percent life resist uh, uh, stat. Like, I'm surprised that even did a hundred. So I'll save that. Um, yeah, I might as well throw this out there. He's about to start attacking him, so I'll get this set back on me. What? Why does it keep doing that? It's like they expect it to do the spell mental thing with the additional stuff, but then it just doesn't. Bonk. Uh, that did not crit, I don't believe. Which really sucks. Don't need that. Um, I'll just shield up. Great, if I could get any of my other spells. Uh, I was kind of hoping that would have been a, uh, a locust swarm. I didn't really need it, but it was clogging up my hand, and it would have been a waste to just get rid of it entirely. Really just waiting for this minion to make some moves. It would have been a smart idea to throw out uh, that, that one Cyclops minion I have from uh, Mount Olympus, but that's fine. Oh, yeah, there's another heal. Yeah. Heal me when I take 100 damage, but don't heal me when I'm nearly dead. Uh, 
It'd also be great if I pulled some of my cards that I needed, like Blades, uh, Colossus Animus. Be great if we were critting due to this four pit crit bubble. Oh, wow. Quite lucky timing by me. Huh. Man, I can't believe I got rid of that one golem with the the sacrifice spell. That was so dumb of me. Um I'll give it this guy. I need my pet blade and a spirit blade. None of which are popping up right now. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. It's like, when I'm going up against mob fights, I'll get every single spell in the book that I need. When I'm going up against this guy, I'll get nothing. Unicorn. Ah, uh, that's uh, fine. I don't think he crit, did he? Oh, well, he he would have had to. That the health on that was quite a bit. Yeah, if he did like close to 190 damage, like that would have had to have been a crit. Oh, well, well no, he had a blade. Or did he use that with the Cyclops? I can't remember. Oh my god, why is it not letting me crit? I threw up this bubble for a freaking reason. It's like my minion can crit, but what about me? Come on. Well, anyway, we're getting there. I'll see who he starts attacking. He's probably going to go for another meteor, so I'll wait. Summon another minion if I need. Get rid of this guy if that's the case. Uh, I might as well. I've got enough minions to last this fight, so... Even with my poor battle plan and terrible RNG for crit. There we go, finally. And watch it not land. Oh, it landed. Oh, I didn't have that enchanted, though. Whatever. Alright, well that took a bit of time, so I think I might end it here. But first, Laszlo Starblade, I've defeated your champion. Excellent. He was among Garok's greatest warriors. I fought him to a standstill on the battlefield, and now you put him in his place. Right. Though we of Dragon Spider are proud, we are not foolish. Though we prefer open and direct fights, we are not ignorant that our enemies will use magical traps to defeat us. 
So now a part of the course of studies here is to learn the ways of traps. You must learn these lessons well in order to face Dronic, the Shrouded Wizard. Alright. Well, that'll be it for episode uh, 20 of the Myth Monstrology playthrough. Got a little bit of Dragon Spire done. Uh, not a whole lot. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And hope, look to see you on the next part. Hey there guys, Godly Seafood here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you liked, leave a like. If there's something you wanted to add to the conversation, maybe I uh, misstated something, or if you want to see certain monsters versus bosses mashups, uh, let me know in the comments below, and uh, subscribe if you enjoy the content. I'm going to be doing uh, some Wizard 101 content uh, with the Myth Monstrology playthrough. Got some ideas for just a regular Minecraft playthrough in the works, just another game that I had on my computer. I'm going to be streaming 7.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time to 10 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, give or take. Uh, you can find me out on Twitch or YouTube live. Uh, YouTube is just Godly Seafood, the channel. Uh, Twitch is twitch.tv forward slash Godly Seafood. Uh, and then check out some of the rest of the content on YouTube as well. I try to edit these just to make them a little bit more compact. Might end up doing some fancy stuff later on. But yeah, hope you enjoyed and uh, keep subscribing for more.